In this video, I'll explain how to find the most significant bit using binary search. First of all, let me explain what I mean by the most significant bit. Let's say that I have some number x, and in binary representation, this is equal to 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. The most significant bit will be the position of the leftmost one. Here, the leftmost one will be in the sixth position, so the most significant bit is 6. The slow way to find the most significant bit is to check every bit starting from the right. We will use the same example from the example above. Starting from the very right, first we would check the zeroth position. Is x greater than 2 to the 0? Since this number has a 1 to the left of this position, yes, x is greater than 2 to the 0. So we move to our next check and check the first position. Is x greater than 2 to the 1? And again, the answer is yes. Go to the left and check the next position. Is x greater than 2 to the 2? Again, the answer is yes. We continue this process until the seventh position where when we ask the question, is x greater than 2 to the 7, the answer is no. Here it took us 8 checks to find the most significant bit. For each bit, we checked whether the number was greater than a power of 2, and if it was, then we raised the power of 2 by 1, and repeat the process. However, there is a faster way of finding the most significant bit using binary search. So let's take a look how we would do this. Again, we will be using the same number for this example. The first thing that we'll do is split the bits in half and ask the question whether x is greater than the number in the middle. The number in the middle in this case is 2 to the 4, so we'll ask the question, is x greater than 2 to the 4? The answer is yes, since we see a 1 to the left of position 4, we see a 1 at position 6, so this number is greater than 2 to the 4. Since x is greater than 2 to the 4, we'll be doing a binary search again on the left part of the bits from position 4 to 7. Split the bits in half and ask the question whether x is greater than the number in the middle. The number in the middle is 2 to the 6, so we ask the question, is x greater than or equal to 2 to the 6? Again, the answer is yes. So from the remaining bits, we split it in half and ask the same question. Split the remaining bits from 6 to 7 in half and ask the question, is x greater than 2 to the 7? In this case, the position 7 has a 0, and anything to the left of this position will also be 0. So the question, is x greater than or equal to 2 to the 7? The answer is no. This took us 3 checks to find the most significant bit. Before we come up with the algorithm for the binary search, let's go through some examples. I'll start with simple examples, and then move on to more complex examples. For the first example, let's ask the question, what is the most significant bit of this number? So what we'll do is split the bits into half. In this case, it will be at 2 to the 1. And then ask the question, is this number 0 greater than or equal to 2 to the 1? Is 0 greater than 2? The answer is no. So the most significant bit for this number is 0. Okay, let's look at another example. How about 1? What is the most significant bit for 1? What we'll do again is split this bits into two parts and ask the question, is 1 greater than or equal to 2 to the 1? Is 1 greater than 2? The answer is no. So again, the most significant bit for this number is 0. Okay, let's go through one more simple example. What is the most significant bit for this number? We split the bits in half and ask the question, is 2 greater than or equal to 2 to the 1? 2 is greater than or equal to 2, so the answer is yes. So in this case, the most significant bit is on the first position, so we return on 1. Okay, let's run through some more difficult examples. Let's find the most significant bit of this number using binary search. Cut the number in half and the number in the middle will be 2 to the 4. And we'll ask the question, is x greater than or equal to 2 to the 4? Since this number x has a 1 at the 4th position, we know that this x is greater than or equal to 2 to the 4. So the answer to the question, is x greater than or equal to 2 to the 4, is yes. Since we know that x is greater than or equal to 2 to the 4, we'll do a binary search from the 4th position to the 7th position. So what we'll do is bring this part of the bits over to the position from 0 to 3. We have 4 bits on the right side, and we also have 4 bits on the left side. We will shift the left part by 4 bits over to the right. Shifting the left 4 bits from position 4 to 7 over to the right, the 1 at the 7th position comes to the 3rd position, the 0 at the 6th position comes to the 2nd, 1 at the 5 comes to 1 at 1, and the 1 at the 4th position slides over to the 0th position. We shifted this part over to the right by 4, so we'll keep track of the total shift and then say total shift incremented by 4. 
and then we'll repeat the same process of the binary search. Split the number in half and ask the question, is x greater than the number in the middle? The number in the middle is 2 to the 2, so we ask the question, is x greater than or equal to 2 to the 2? We can see that we have a 1 at the third position, so the number x is greater than 2 to the 2. The answer is yes. So for the next step, we'll do a binary search on the position from 2 to 3. Ignore the first two bits. Slide over the two bits on the left over to the right. So the 1 on the third position will come to the 1 on the first position, and the 0 on the second position will slide over to the right to the 0 on the 0th position. We shifted this part of the bits over to the right. We shifted by 2, so to the total shift, we'll add 2. And then for the last step, we'll ask the question again, is x greater than or equal to 2 to the 1? We already saw from the example above that 1 is greater than 2 to the 1. So this question, is this number greater than 2 to the 1? The answer is yes. Now after this case, there is no binary search that we'll have to perform, so we don't have to shift any bits. So to total shift, we'll just increment it by 1. The most significant bit is the total number of times we shifted. The total number of times we shifted is 4 plus 2 plus 1, and it is equal to 7. And we can also visually check that the leftmost one in this number is at the 7th position. Okay, let's go over another example. In the previous example, we always shifted the number to the right. So in this example, I want you to pay attention what happens when we don't shift the number over to the right. In other words, when we do a binary search on the right part. So the first thing that we do is split the bits in half and take the number in the middle, 2 to the 4, and ask the question, is x greater than or equal to 2 to the 4? In this case, all the bits to the left of 2 to the 4 is 0, so the answer is no. No, the number x is not greater than or equal to 2 to the 4. It is less than 2 to the 4. This means that to the left of 2 to the 4, we know that all the bits are 0. So the most significant bit will be to the right of 2 to the 4. We simply ignore the bits left of 2 to the 4. So for the next step, we just do a binary search on the right part of the bits. There is no bit shifting that we perform. And then we do a binary search. Ask the question, is x greater than or equal to the number in the middle? The number in the middle is 2 to the 2. So is x greater than or equal to 2 to the 2? There is a 1 at the second position, so we know that x is at least greater than or equal to 2 to the 2. The most significant bit of this number will be to the left of 2 to the 2. We can ignore the bits to the right of 2 to the 2. The position 1 and 0. So we'll bit shift 1 1 over to the right by 2 and we get 1 1. We shift it over to the right by 2 so let's keep track of this saying total shifted plus equals 2. Okay let's do a binary search on this number 1 1. Is this number greater than or equal to 2 to the 1? We see a 1 at the first position so we know that this number is greater than or equal to 2 to the 1. The answer is yes, and there is no more binary search that we'll have to perform, so we don't have to do any more shifts. We'll just say total shift incremented by 1. Okay, let's count the total number of times we shifted this number over to the right. Here we shift it twice, and then at the end we shift it once. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So the most significant bit of this number x is the number of total shift, which is equal to 3. And you can check here that the leftmost one in this number is at the third position. Let's go over the algorithm for finding the most significant bit using binary search. We'll say that x is the number that we want to find the most significant bit from. And we'll initialize a variable total shift which will keep track of the number of times we shifted the number over to the right. We also start with a number, let's name it i, which is a power of 2. And on each iteration, we'll divide i by 2. For example, we'll say i is equal to 128. And then we start the binary search. We look at the middle number and ask the question, is x greater than or equal to 2 to the i? If the answer is yes, then we bit shift x by i. This is how you will write it in Solidity code. And then we'll keep track of the number of times we shift it over to the right. So we'll increment the variable total shift by i. Divide i by 2 and then we do a binary search again. If the number x is not greater than or equal to 2 to the i, then we'll simply divide i by 2 and then move on to the next iteration. When we reach the final iteration, when i is equal to 0, we return the total number of times we shifted. 
And this will be the answer to the question, what is the most significant bit of the number x?